Hi guys, this is Stormouse03. Welcome back to my Evil Within 2 100% walkthrough. This is chapter 2, or it is going to be in a moment. Uh, so you just need to, once you get into this room, here after the opening credits, you'll be talking to Kidman, and then you just need to investigate this right here to get cracking. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing, too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. All right, so here we are, chapter two, something not quite right. And so, if you're just tuning in now, cat. there's a kitty. I'm ruining a cat. And that's very important. So, <laughs> so if you're just tuning in now, we're going to be doing all the collectibles and all the miscellaneous achievements and trophies and everything in this guide. It's going to be 100%. That's why it says it's 100%. Woohoo! So the first thing, your first collectible, is right here beside Kitty. It is photographic slide number one. And you can go ahead and take that. And it's basically introducing you to using this projector. Slide projector? Where did my memory dig this up? Elementary school? And so you're going to... So that's one of 11, and it'll tell you it's nice. The, the collectible track, tracker in this thing is pretty nice. Uh, and so you're always going to know kind of that you're on track, and you can look in your, in your menu and everything. Although I always open the wrong one, and it, it doesn't give me access to the other one. So we'll look in that in a minute, you know, once we can do that uh, a little bit into the chapter here. But you're able to look through all of your collectibles and everything, and that's good. So we're going to operate the projector right now. I would suggest watching all of these because kind of like after you watch one uh, or after you watch a couple of them, the cat will start bringing you green gel. And so just to make sure that you get the all the green gel that you can, I would recommend, you know, whenever you're coming back here to open your, locker, your lockers um, and that kind of stuff, uh, to go ahead and use the slide projector and watch any of the slides that you've collected so far just so that the cat will keep bringing you green gel and you'll you know be able to upgrade some more stuff so we're gonna talk to Kidman and watch the first one right now Kidman you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost. Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. All right. And so there we go. Kitty has brought us our first green gel. Thanks, Kitty. You are my favorite kitty. Thanks, Kitty. <laughs> I forgot that he actually called the cat Kitty. I'm here. Okay. Just like Beacon should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? Because, Sebastian, it's you. And so this is save terminals, and, you know, get familiar with these, because you're going to need to know, you know, what they are and how much not to use them when you play classic mode. But for right now, you can save as much as you want, and I would recommend doing so and make several different save slots, just in case one of them gets corrupted. This is... Gaming 101. <laughs> so, 
here we go. We're gonna investigate the mirror. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Lily, what's wrong? My doll's head is broke. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you all right? I've got a wonderful family. An amazingly smart and beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be all right? Come here, Myra. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? <sighs> Is this the right place? Oh yes, Sebastian, it's the right place. All right, so this whole first sequence is what the? a lot of just searching around this kind of creepy atmosphere. And the first time you do it, it's pretty cool. And then after that, it's kind of like, okay, we're ready for the action to get started. <laughs> So you walk forward and then the door will appear behind you. You go in here to see one William Baker. search team Baker yes it is and so the first thing once you get in here that you want to do is come around here to the left and look on the sink right here for file number one photo of William Baker sadistic whoever did this must have enjoyed it all right, and then we're gonna carry on. So come over here, gonna investigate this, push it out of the so way and on. get to moving. We're in. So there's really not a lot of danger in this level. And so it, it moves kind of slowly, but there are a couple of files and things to pick up in this one. And you're also going to get a couple of weapons, and we're also going to get our first achievement, or trophy, if you're on PS4. And so, the next file... So you can go pick up that phone if you want to, but we're not gonna, because we don't have to... So the next file, you're going to crouch under here, and it's going to be right on this table right here. It's uh, called Extravagant Letter. And 
so there's that. And now we're going to move forward. The visuals here are pretty, pretty cool. And, I mean, I'm going to talk a little bit about the game, guys, during these slow sections because there's just not a lot to say in terms of strategy uh, or instruction. But right here, uh, there is something to say about strategy and instruction. It's going to introduce you to the first sort of boss character in the game, Stefano. And it's going to introduce you to the cover system and how to move in cover. And so we're going to move around here. Hmm. And you just want to make sure that you come around the corner there. Because if you don't go around the corner, then he'll see you, and then it'll be bad, and and whatnot. So, you can you can have your cover system kind of like on toggle, or you can have it on hold. And so, I had it, I thought I had it on toggle, but apparently I have it on hold. So, that's why you can't, I, that's why I didn't move around the cover very well. So, you just are holding your right bumper, and then when you get to a corner like this, you push the stick up and it'll just go around the corners and it's uh... it's not bad it's not bad this system and so this little arrow right here because this will be important for later on the little arrow right there will show you that if you push and hold right bumper you'll sort of run into cover like that But you want to be careful. You want to be careful with doing that when you have the little hold thing on. Because you can end up like, you know, like I did right there, uh, moving into cover here. And that would be really not good if you were trying to get away from Stefano. So, you know, have the system with, with however you would like to use it. Um, but just know if you have it on uh, hold down, you need to you need to press the A button or the X button if you're on PS4 uh, in order to move between cover like that. So there you go. That's a little that's a little cover tutorial for you. You don't need to look at him. And so the next thing that we're going to do is find file number three. So when we come around the corner here, there is a door over here to the right, door number 103. And if you hop over that little obstacle there, you can pick this up from the table. It's going to be a uh, photo of another victim. And now we're going to carry forward. So like I said, during some of the more slow sections of this, I'm going to be talking a little bit about the game and what I thought about it and and that kind of thing. And now that I'm not playing on classic mode anymore, I'm, I'm immediately enjoying it much more. Because the atmosphere and the ambiance and the the visuals and the gunplay and everything it is pretty good 
you know, and I enjoyed the story of it overall. And so... It's definitely not a bad game. And it's definitely not a bad nice. sequel. So if you enjoyed the first one, you will likely enjoy this one as well. Yikes. Uh, you know, it, it is just a little bit different. You know, I... And I said this in my Let's Play. I just didn't find it quite as scary as the first game. And... I don't exactly know why that is, but it just wasn't to me. And now you are welcome to have a different opinion about that because what's what's scary for one person, you know, is not necessarily scary for somebody else and things that I find to be scary, you may not. But there's definitely a lot of really good visuals here. I'm gonna get the quick turn going here. The quick turn is really, really useful. So if you press back on your left thumbstick and the right bumper, just click those at the same time, you will do a 180 degree turn. And the quick turn in survival horror games is always a really, really good thing to have and to get familiar with. Because there are, there are moments where you want to run away from stuff, like, for example, right now, where it's helpful to be able to do that instead of having to turn the camera all the way around. What the hell? And so this is the danger in this level, right here. Because this creature is going to be chasing you oh, fuck. and it's really awesome <laughs> so you want to turn around and then you want to sprint around this thing and then you want to sprint down the hall and it's going to kind of introduce you to the mechanics of stamina it's going to introduce you to the mechanics of needing to run around stuff and it's going to introduce you to uh, vaulting over things like that obstacle right there just as you're running you tap a to vault over something so those are all useful things to know and then you want to climb up this ladder here and you know I think the, this chase sequence was actually well done because you know it's kind of like climb up climb up climb up and you can't tell where, how far she is behind you and you know, now you're sort of in this claustrophobic little what the hell is that thing? air vent here. So, you know, I think this was actually a pretty good little opening sequence. Our poor little mouse friend is going to get destroyed. And you need to back up away from that saw so that you don't get hurt. And we're going to be moving on. Yeah, I would say this was sufficiently, like, some, some tense action, you know? Because you don't have any weapons at this point. So you're just running away from this lady. And so, right now, we're going to have a little quick time event. Oh, my God. 
And so you just want to tap A as quickly as you can. It's going to pull the knife out. It's going to slice her in the face. And everything from here on out is cutscene. So you don't even need to push forward on the controller. You don't need to do anything. You are done at that point. So you're going to wake up in here. It's going to introduce you to healing. And we're going to have a couple of collectibles. And we're going to have the survival knife. So here's our... We obtained the survival knife, so that is your first weapon. And it uh, shows you that you heal automatically. A little bit. And now where am I? And then there's going to be a syringe here. And it's going to show you that you can uh, select this to heal if you so choose. But I'm not going to use that because we're going to be getting some healing uh, from the coffee maker at the beginning of chapter 3. And so I'm not going to use that syringe right now. But what I am going to do is come over here and pick up file number 4. It's the journal in an abandoned house. Or journal in abandoned house. And so that's file number four and so now I have access to my menu system here and so you see you can look at your files and so it'll show you all the different files that you've collected so you should have these four and it shows you residual memories it, sh it shows you the slides that you've collected um, it's gonna show you all of your all of your stuff and so that's all good. So just for future reference, if you if you aren't sure which files you have collected or haven't collected and you want to check it against the description below the video uh, as to, you know, which files you found or not, I'm going to have the names of all of them on there. So if you want to go to a specific one, you can look at your menu and see which ones you've got and say, oh, I've, I'm missing this particular one. And there should be a link in the description to you know, which, whichever file it is that you're missing. So we're going to go out the door here, and Sebastian is going to get a couple of things automatically. Uh, the semi-automatic handgun. Where were you when I needed you? He just picks up. And so that's your second weapon. And then you're also going to get file right number place. five, the photo of the Castellanos family. Lily, I hope you're here. What did I get myself into? Kidman? Sebastian, where have you been? We lost you. I don't know. But it sure as hell wasn't a quaint little town. There's something bad happening in here, Kidman. Baker is dead. There's a killer running around in here. Doing things that are... It's like Beacon all over again. What the fuck did you just send me into? I don't know. We're in the dark out here. Baker was the team leader. If he's dead, that doesn't bode well for the rest of them. Keep searching around. The more info you gather, the more I'll be able to help you. Yeah. Sure. Okay. And... S and so that should be your first achievement as soon as you get done talking to Kidman that is welcome to Union took the plunge back into STEM and so there you go number one of 51 <laughs> and so we're well on our way uh, we're gonna pick up this herb right here these are used to craft uh, medical supplies which are useful definitely definitely useful to have and then we're going to move on over here I'm going to do some inventory management I want my pistol on the d-pad here and we're going to be moving up to a house and so we're going to have our first you know actual enemy of the game that we're going to be murdering it's just a small quiet town yeah. 
too quiet. So we're gonna head into this house here on the left. Oh. Hey! She had to have heard me. Better check it out. So two more shots to the head should bring this lady down, and be aware that uh, any enemies that you kill are going to hopefully drop some green gel for you. And so we're going to have another person out there. And we're going to kite them through here. So you can kind of lose him if you run outside. There are a couple of things in here that you're going to want to pick up. So there's another herb right there. And so we're just going to wait for this guy to go through his little pattern. And then we're going to move up behind him. And just be tapping on A because he kind of turns around pretty quick. <laughs> so tap on A there a little bit and you should be able to grab a stealth kill on him. So that'll be your first stealth kill of the game, which is pretty sweet. Turn the flashlight on here so that I can see what I'm doing. And I go up here, and so there's going to be some handgun ammunition, which we'll reload. 
And for whatever reason, like I always think there's something behind this chair, but there is never anything behind that chair, at least not for me. And so, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm a silly, silly fool is what I am. After we've dealt with those lovely individuals, Kidman. That was fast. Did you learn anything new? Yeah, I did. I learned that it really is like Beacon in here. The people in here are turning into creatures. Damn it. What the hell happened? I don't know. But it means that Lily is in more danger than just being lost. Sebastian. Save it, Kidman. Leave it to me. I'm gonna find her. You're going to have that little conversation there with Kidman. And then we're going to be getting out of here. So there are a couple of little things to pick up here between uh, this point and the exit, but nothing too important. Uh, and some of the stuff is going to be... A little bit random so it's going to introduce you to the melee and to breaking boxes and so there should be a few boxes here for you to break uh, if you get gunpowder uh, it's that's something that you use to craft ammo and so that's pretty cool and just know that the things that are in any crates that I break like that uh, may or may not be the same in your game and so don't worry about it if they are slightly different, you know, if you have a, a little bit more or less, you know, gunpowder or something like that. It should be relatively similar. So, I, you know, it's not going to be like I'm going to have some sort of vastly different amount of stuff uh, than you. But just know that our numbers may or may not 100% match up because the little drops of gunpowder and sometimes bullets and things like that are a little bit random, so... Turn off your flashlight. Damn. But those things are everywhere. And so this this lady is gonna come over here and investigate, and you just want to make sure that you are in stealth here and uh, wait for her to turn around, and then I'm not gonna be messing with most of the enemies over there just because it's not really worth it. Yeah, you'd get a little bit of green gel for them, maybe, but nothing super significant. And so, don't even worry about them. What we are going to worry about is grabbing this bottle and uh, taking out this enemy over here. And so we've got a few enemies that we can sneak kill up here. And the first one is going to be this guy who is milling around over here. So he's going to move. Or she. Uh, these enemies are sort of random, and so sometimes they're men, sometimes they're women, but they're... They're lost. They're all the lost. And so you just wait for them to make their move and turn around like that. And then move up behind them. And it helps to just be pressing A. You know. As you are sneaking up behind them. Because sometimes it's a little bit close. <laughs> um, about getting up to them. But that's. That's another sneak kill there, and then we're going to have a third one. Uh, 
right here. Go ahead and pick up the green gel that this guy dropped. And then our last enemy right here. This one dropped a couple of gunpowder for us. And now this one is occupied with banging on the door. And so we're going to take him out for sneak kill number four, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so before you go in that door, make sure that you pick up anything from this side that you wanted. So there's another bottle over here. And then if you bust the window in this car... You grab the gunpowder there and I would I would suggest uh, that that be all that you pick up from this area Shit. and so you're gonna have to do a little uh, quick time tappy tappy of a or X if you're on ps4 and uh, then you're gonna have this little cutscene And funny thing, even if you kill every single enemy that's outside of that door, uh, there will be more that show up in that cutscene. Now, where they come from, your guess is as good as mine. In this drawer, there should be some more gunpowder. And in this bathroom in here, and there's another medical syringe. So that is pretty, pretty good. And so now, as you come down these stairs, we're going to have a little cutscene where we meet O'Neill and talk to him. And that's going to take us into Chapter 3. I'm just going to go through the dialogue options because you're going to need to pick up the Rogue Signal side quest. Uh, but that is going to do it for Chapter 2 for us, guys. So we found five files. Uh, one photographic slide so far, and we have two weapons, the survival knife and the semi-automatic handgun, and we picked up one achievement, Welcome to Union. And so that is it for Chapter 2. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope that this has been helpful to you, and I will see you in Chapter 3. Any closer okay calm down don't shoot I'm not gonna hurt you see you can lower your gun I'm on your side you're not Mobius you might not be one of those things, but that doesn't mean you're on my side. You're right. I don't work for Mobius, but I was sent here by them. Have you seen what those things out there? What they can do? Yeah, I have. Lucky for you, your partner was willing to sacrifice himself so you could escape. He wasn't my partner. He was just a member of Union Security Detail. Protecting me was his job. And my job is to solve a hardware issue. Dying inside here is above my pay grade. I'm not a soldier. I'm just a technician. I know. Stop! Or I'll shoot! No. No. A soldier would have taken the safety off. I told you. We're on the same side. Let's try this again. I'm Sebastian Castellanos. I'm O'Neill. Liam O'Neill. So you're not Mobius, but they sent you in here? Why? I'm looking for my... I'm trying to restore the core, just like you are. Yeah? Good luck with that. I'm done. I'm just gonna hold out here until extraction. 
They can't extract you. Not until Lily is found. Who's Lily? Look, everyone is stuck in here until the core is located. Can you help me out? If you're asking me to go out there with you, you can forget about it. This is a safe house, so I'm staying safe. Got me? But I may have a lead on the core. I detected some signals nearby that resonate at the core's frequency. We were trying to track them when we got attacked. Here, listen to this. It sounds like a little girl, right? Quiet. Was that her? The core? I think so. But I've been picking up all sorts of weird signals on my communicator since we got here. No way to know for sure until you track it to its source. How do I do that? Your communicator can pick it up too. Once you're out there, check it. You'll see. You'll probably pick up other signals while you're out there. It wouldn't hurt to follow them to find out what- No way. The core first. It's the only way we're getting out of here. Suit yourself. Let's pair up our communicators. That way I can tell you if I find anything. Yeah, okay. Can't hurt, I guess. So you've been stuck in here a week already? Has it been that long? Damn. The time's a little fluid in here. This was supposed to be a simple in and out job. Like, home in time for dinner, simple. But this is different than anything I've ever seen before. What do you mean? Wonky stuff usually happens when a core goes AWOL, but... What's happening is more than that. This place is falling apart at the seams. We used the stable field emitter, but it's not working like it's supposed to. What's the stable field emitter? If Mobius sent you in here, shouldn't you know this stuff already? There were five members of your team? There was a security force already in here to help us. But yeah, there are five search team members. W wait, did you just say were? I found Baker. He's dead. Huh. Doesn't surprise me. He locked onto a powerful signal and went to investigate. I told him we should just request extraction and report our findings, leave the dangerous work to somebody else. But he wouldn't hear of it, being team leader and all. Always had to be the brave one. You ask me, there's a thin line between brave and foolish. Yeah. There's a thin line between prudent and cowardly, too. Tomato, tomato. I'm not saying I'm glad he's dead. <laughs> what kind of asshole do you think I am? I hope the others are okay. I'll let you know if I find anybody else. You'd really do that? Thanks. I'd appreciate that. It's more dangerous out there than I expected. Any idea where I can get some weapons and supplies? I tried to tell you about this one signal, but you didn't want to hear it. Well, I'm all ears now. I picked something up from two Mobius security team members who were talking about weapons caches. Maybe you can follow it and get some gear. Maybe they're out there, can help you out. Now think about it. Come on, man. I'm all alone in here. I could use some protection. Maybe if you hadn't let your last guard take the fall for you. Whatever. I'll mark the signal on your communicator. Follow it or don't follow it. I don't care. Those things are pretty tough. Takes a lot of ammo to get them off my back. Do you have anything stronger in here? Not in here, but you could probably find some out there. This place was designed to be peaceful, but Mobius and firepower go hand in hand. Do you know where I can find some of this firepower? It's pretty chaotic out there. You're not going to find a pile of heavy-duty weapons altogether. But I did see something useful next to an abandoned APC just outside. I'll mark its location for you. But be careful. There are a lot of those things hanging around it. 